two years ago, we purchased this four season safari tent on Facebook Marketplace for $500. We decided to turn it into a bohemian luxury tent and live in it on our homestead. In this video, we're gonna show you exactly how we set it up, how we built the deck out of rough cut lumber and much more. You're gonna wanna watch this video to the end. Waking up to the sounds of nature and living on the land that belonged to my great grandparents has brought me so much joy these last few months. In two years, I've learned how to put my hands to use by building things from scratch. The homestead life is slow living, eating good, and cooking things from my new cookbook. It brings me closer to how my ancestors once lived. Austin and I make a great team. We know our strengths and weaknesses. I'm more of the tech guy and into decorations, and Austin is more into putting things together and making sure we stay on track. There is this long lasting joy I get now, seeing a project come together from the beginning to the end. Let the building begin. One thing about building a frame, we gotta make sure it's square. I gotta learn that. Ooh, that was heavy. Having our friend Red helps us with the floating deck. This deck is gonna be about 16 feet long. The structure of the deck is made of treated lumber and the top board are rough cut that we got from a local mill. Dang it, I lost a bit. We're almost finished with the framing of the deck. Now, it's time to lay out the tent. We'll start with the frame. These metal poles will form the skeleton of the tent. We got this tent for a steal. It only cost us $500 from a local seller who no longer wanted it. One by one, I drove the stakes into the ground to make sure the safari tent had the support it needed. Everyone took their turn driving a stake into the ground. More hands make light work. Yeah. Austin, awesome. good job, we're almost there. Austin opened up the screens to allow fresh air to enter. It smelled like pine since we nestled around the pine trees. I think we're gonna get y'all, and they're free. What's up? <laughs> oh man, I'm so in love. I think I'm gonna take them. Okay. Like, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. We have some beautiful puppies to add to the homestead. Ah, uh, y'all going to a good home. The other day, Austin told me that he wanted a gift for his birthday. And his birthday is in a couple of days. I think it'd be great to surprise him with two Labrador puppies. He's been saying that he wanted some animals. He's gonna be so excited. He's not gonna know. He's not gonna know what to say. Watch his face. Stuff in the front seat, right here. Happy birthday. Why did you get these dogs? Oh my goodness. You said you wanted some dogs for your birthday, didn't you? Yeah, but I didn't think you were gonna get them. Well, I did. It's okay, big boy. You got your brother to play with. Our dogs are amazing companions and they help me cope. But sometimes our furry friends, they just aren't 
enough. And that's why I would like to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Creating content is my passion, but sometimes even I get burnt out. Being a therapist is one of the best investments you can make in your life. If you're feeling isolated or you're just feeling down, you can always count on BetterHelp to help you. BetterHelp has been great to connect with licensed therapists who deal with situations just like the one you have. When you visit my personal link, answer a few simple questions and you'll be matched with a licensed therapist of your choice. You can message your therapist and schedule all of your sessions. Also, I love that you can do a one-on-one -on -one session or you can do a group session. Being out here on a homestead, we don't really get to talk to too many people. So I do like the group session idea. If you want a therapy session, consider clicking on a link in my description and give BetterHelp a try. Thank you. And let's get back to the video. Oh my gosh, listen to them snore. These are our babies, sesame and cumin, named after spices, fitting since I'm a chef. They love taking warm baths with oatmeal shampoo to soothe their little bodies. Over the last few weeks, they've grown a lot and become our little helpers. Sesame makes sure he takes enough breaks on these hot days and loves kissing and cuddling. I love shopping for pieces to decorate our spaces. It's an art form to make a space such as a tent inviting and cozy. And I think I found the perfect decor to do just that. I want the space to have many rugs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. Mm. They kind of stink. It make me get a headache. This one smells good. I'm going for a bohemian vibe that I think everyone will love. After a long day of shopping, getting some ice cream was exactly what we needed. One by one, we laid out the rugs and added a nice table for the kitchen area of the tent. I left the part I hate doing to Austin, and that's constructing furniture. There's something so therapeutic about assembling furniture and getting to the end result of a piece you plan to use forever. It reminds me of using building blocks when I was a kid, except we're building a perfect, peaceful place. Today, I'm finishing the bed assembly and I need some help. Thank you, Sesame, for being a great helper. Will and I find working together more efficient to knock out tedious tasks and hold each other accountable to not get distracted by how calm it is out here on our homestead. We're not even finished setting up the tent and we've already feel at peace inside. I value good sleep, and I'm always going to purchase a quality mattress. This one 
came packed tight, but it'll make sure you sleep like a newborn. They really put it in here. We wanted our tent to feel at home, so adding beanbag seats and end tables allowed us to sit in the space and have a place for our gadgets. My favorite part of the tent is the queen size bed. It's cozy, comfortable, with fresh linen you can swim in before falling asleep. When FedEx arrives, I get happy. <laughs> Today, they're delivering our EcoFlow power bank and solar power. This tent can be completely off-grid with this addition. Each solar panel is 110 watts, and with the right amount of sun, you can be charged back up in a few hours. And if you're considering getting this power bank, you get a discount if you use my code. This unit will come in handy during this time of the year when we have storms and power outages. We added a smart TV to watch our favorite shows. For the final touches, facial wipes, smell goods for your body, and a well-stocked kitchen area for prepping. We'll be doing a cooking outside and a few lights that work off the EcoFlow unit. Now, let's get cooking. For the last few months, I've been working on something quite exciting. Oh yeah, the fire's crackling. I'm using some dry pecan wood that my daddy cut for me, tree that fell down a couple of months ago and it's really dry. It smells so good. Y'all, I got a book deal and my cookbook is going to be available worldwide. I took this delicious recipe that's in my cookbook, which lunches in three months and you can buy that and support me now. Night was upon us. I took the kebabs off the wood fire grill, set out in front of the tent as the fire crackled and began to feast on a delicious meal. There's endless things to do on a homestead. It's moments like this that I cherish the most and that's completing a project. Good morning, y'all. Ah. Uh. The sleep was relaxing, going to sleep to the sounds of the frog and the crickets. There was one cricket that chirped all night long, but it's still beautiful. I wanted to see what I could do with my new EcoFlow solar system. I set up the solar panels in a sunny location and decided I should cook breakfast. Doesn't that waffle look good? The fresh organic raspberries and apples made this waffle even better. This life here on the homestead is slow, simple, and easy living. And I'm glad you're all here with us on the journey. If you're thinking about starting your own glamping and camping business 
we have an ebook that we created that I promise you, you're gonna love. It has everything you need to know. And if you like this video, make sure you comment and tell us below what you love the most about it. Until next time, y'all, 